Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to Pirates! This is the Pirates playset as part of the Disney Infinity package, I guess we could call it. Or Disney Infinity game might be more appropriate. And yeah, basically Pirates, Pirates, Pirates. Um, <laughs> it's kind of following the uh, the story of the Pirates of the Caribbean uh, films, sort of. Uh, Davy Jones has stole a map and uh, to try and find out where whatever it is he's trying to find. Um, I'm here going through the swamp and I need to go and speak to that woman and I can never remember her name so I'm not even going to try to. The game's probably told me her name about 20 times at this point and I forget every single time and won't forget about that for now. Right, let's try and take out this. Is that like a turtle thingy? I think it's like a like a turtle pirate. Right, go and take it out. It's right there. There we go. <laughs> a direct hit. It took me 50 attempts but I managed to get a direct hit. And I'm not entirely sure where I'm supposed to go. I guess keep following my way down here. This is kind of how it was, wasn't it, in the uh, the second one, uh, when you go through the swamp and try and find her. There seems to be some sort of uh, building in the distance down here. I don't want to miss anything, though. I don't want to go past anything, you know, like where I think I could maybe leave and explore. But here we go. This seems to be a, a good docking point. Is she going to be here? There she is. Right, hopefully she's going to be able to help me out. Right, if I go and get out here, I assume... If you haven't seen the last few videos, by the way, uh, there'll be a link in the description to a playlist, uh, which is all of my videos in order. Uh, but to be fair, there's not, I mean, there is a storyline to this game, but it's not, I mean, it's not a proper storyline. There's like one or two lines of dialogue and that, like, it doesn't really matter. Like, you're not going to miss out on anything if you haven't gone through and watched every single video. It's more about just the fun of playing it rather than uh, everything that's going on, to be honest, which I'm cool with. It's just kind of a, a nice break from everything else. Just, I don't know, just have a bit of fun for a bit. Anyway, let's go see uh, the lady and see if she can uh, help me out and tell me where I need to go. First, we're going to stand in front of her and just start crazily clapping. <laughs> you let him take the map. That map is the key to finding the most powerful thing in the sea. Something so powerful, it'd be broke in five pieces, and the pieces scatter to different parts of the Caribbean. Together, they form the Kraken's Bane. And with the Bane, one can ward off David Jones' monster. He already on his way to finding the Bane. You must beat him to it. Okay, so let's go get the Bane. Like, he can control the Kraken anyway, so why does he need it? Why doesn't he let us have a go using it? <laughs> God, look at the Kraken. He doesn't look friendly, does he? Uh, there's a thing down here. These uh, chests here, you need to be different characters. And uh, at the moment, uh, in the pirate set, I've only got uh, Jack Sparrow, so I don't think I'm going to be able to do anything. I'll watch the video anyway. See if it will tempt me enough to actually want to go and get it. Do I want to be Squid Face? Do I really want to be Squid Face? Nah, I don't really want to be Squid Face. I don't like the tentacle beard. <laughs> be too annoying to shave around in the morning. Be quite dangerous, to be honest. <laughs> anyway, let's go and explore around here for a bit then. Um, so, what, what actually did I need to you do? You want to know where them pieces are. First, you gonna give me what I want. This island used to be home to a grand people. People with respect for the sea. One of their statues been broke and spread about. You find those pieces and return them to their proper place. Then we see what I can tell you. Like, why doesn't she just help me anyway? She had a go at me for letting him get the map. She should help me out. This is the priority, not her broken pottery. Okay, well, let's go find all of the other uh, pieces. Luckily, the game has a, a big, massive arrow. It's like, try and find the pieces. And there's a big arrow saying, they're this way. <laughs> Makes it that bit easier for me. It seems to be quite a big place down here, though. So uh, it might be uh, pretty helpful. But yeah, I do kind of just want to uh, wander around and have a little explore for a bit. Now, as I said in the last video, I'm just amazed at how big the uh, this playset seems to be. Because it is part of one of three. And then there's the whole toy box mode, which I've uh, really only just dunked my toe in anyway. This game's massive. And this is just the uh, with the starter pack as well. I haven't uh, like downloaded or bought anything extra. Anyway, there seems to be a fellow here with a lovely hat. So let's go and uh, speak to him, see what he wants us to do. Oh, uh... oh uh, um, I've been fishing for days and it uh, smells like low tide on a hot day. That swamp could wash me off. Okay, I think he, I think he wants me to just to throw him in the water. Is that it? Is that what my mission is? 
That went better than I thought. <laughs> Why can he just walk and jump in? The missions are so ridiculous in this game. I just love it. <laughs> he could have taken, what, four steps and he would have been in there. Oh, well, it gave me an excuse to, to pick him up and throw him in the water. At least I didn't feel bad about it. Like, normally I uh, pick people up involuntarily and uh, just throw them in the water. Well, involuntarily on their behalf, anyway. And yeah, and then <laughs> I feel a little bit mean about it, but uh, at least he wanted me to. Anyway, there seems to be some sort of cannon or something going after me here. Um, what is that? Oh, there's one of the, the statue pieces. I'm gonna be careful here, I'm getting owned. Right, if I jump up really quick, I guess. Oh, he's firing it already, like he fires it as I'm going up. Right, jump and dodge, jump and dodge. Fire my pistol at him, I guess. Get close, and then finish him off with my old trusty blade. There we go. Not bad. Did I did I pick up the statue? I was kind of running too quickly. I think I did. Let me just see what this says here. Uh, press B to dodge. Oh, I was doing that anyway. It's all right. I know what I'm playing. I'm going to dodge backwards. <laughs> I love the little sound he makes. He's there just going like, whoa, wee, whoa. There's like nothing even there. Uh, there's a chest over in this direction. Go grab some monies. Uh, the money's actually going to be really important because uh, that's what you use to, to buy all of the, the upgrades for your boat. So uh, certainly more than the uh, Monsters University one, I'm going to be uh, properly trying to hunt to get as much money as I can. It seems to be uh, much more crucial. Well, I don't think you need it. I think it'll just make it so like you can go faster and uh, like upgrade your cannons and stuff. Like I'm pretty sure it's not going to be essential, but it'll just kind of be nice to have. And uh, another mission I've kind of half been set as well uh, is to uh, try and repair my cells. There's a, a whole load of rips and stuff in the uh, the cells of my boat. So uh, one of my crewmen uh, suggested it might be a good idea to to patch some of those stuff up before uh, going on too big of a voyage. <laughs> uh, anyway, first things first though. Uh, let's go and try and gather up all of these pieces. I got two out of three so far, so I guess there's going to be uh, one round here. It's quite a good way for for showing me around this little area around the swamp, you know, where where I need to go. And uh, there's only a few googlies. There doesn't seem to be uh, quite so so many enemies in this game. And they're just sort of randomly scattered all over the place. And there we go. There's the final one down there. Right, I sometimes struggle with these ropes. It's very difficult to land right on them. And oh, look at that. Did you see that shot? Shot him with the pistol while sliding down. I am amazing. I know. You don't need to tell me. I already know. I am totally amazing. <laughs> and what's this here? Oh, I need a bomb. I need to get a bomb in order to to blow this place up, I guess. Maybe there's um there's some secrets down there. I reckon I'm going to have to buy those from the uh, the toy store and come back later on, I reckon. Um, anyway, I managed to get all three pieces of the statue, and I've now assembled it. Oh, and doesn't it look lovely? I, I love the uh, the completed mission thing in this. The uh, the skull and crossbones that uh, appears on the screen. And whoa! <laughs> and why not celebrate completing my mission by having a nice swim? <laughs> anyway, let's go back and speak to the lady. Uh, seeing as I've forgotten her name again already. I don't actually think I've ever known her name. I don't think I've ever known how to pronounce it. I think if I could pronounce it properly, I'd have more chance of remembering it. And oh, I thought that was me back in the water then. Right, where is she? Is that her up there? I think I can see that's her her house over in this direction. And what are these things here? What are... There's like potions there. Are they just sort of randomly here? Do these do anything? I'm scared they're going to like blow up or something if I try and hit them. No, they just seem to bounce all over the place. And oh, nearly me in the water again. <laughs> I don't, I never look stable, do I? I never look uh, like in control. And where am I going now? Around this way? Is this somewhere new? Have I been this way before? Or is this just another way to get round to the house? Oh, can I go on her roof, do you reckon? Anything up here? Can I actually get anywhere? There we go. It's just a, a more exotic way of getting to her again. <laughs> the bin. It'd be broken into five pieces. Possess them all, and you can be the most powerful and free man in all the seas. <laughs> the first piece, it'd be here on the island. You go on to beat David Jones men to it, hmm? Okay, show me. So I reckon that I can um, I can sell my boat through here now, I reckon. So is this arrow going to be showing me back to the boat? Yeah, there we go. So she's opened a gate so now I can sell through and try and get the uh, the first piece of Bane. <laughs> I can't do her voice. I don't even know why I attempted it. That was rather embarrassing. Anyway, <laughs> onwards and upwards. So I guess that uh, Davy Jones men are, are trying to get this Bane as well. No, I, I don't get... Maybe he's just trying to get the... um. The pieces of it to stop me because like he seemed to have good control of the kraken as it was and uh, i guess i don't know maybe he doesn't want anyone else to get the bane because then i can control the kraken and then i can have control of the seeds because you gotta remember 
I'm not necessarily 100% a goodie. I am a pirate, and pirates aren't known for baking cakes and giving people flowers. They're known for murdering and stealing and all sorts of other sort of nasty things like that. But uh, yeah, I don't know. There's just something there's just something friendly about them, you know. They you when you think of pirates, you don't think of mean people. Yeah, I don't know. You just think of sailing boats and like talking parrots and eye patches and stuff. But uh, yeah, they're generally not too friendly fellas. But uh, Captain Jack Sparrow at least uh, seems to be pretty friendly. And yeah, so let's go through here and try and find the bane. Like, it's really fun just shooting people on the boat. It's nice not having to, to get out and use my sword. I can just sort of just sail up to them. I feel a bit overpowered, to be honest. And look, there's a guy there. Look, he's just hiding by there. Oh, no, they're shooting back now. Right, get him. Why is my aim so bad? There we go. Oh, blow the entire house up. <laughs> and I don't know if any of you actually know, but uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean films uh, were actually based on a, uh, a ride, which is at uh, Disney World. And so, like, the, the ride came first, and then they based the uh, the films around the ride. And uh, I've actually been on it, and it's a really awesome ride. Like, it's quite old. It's been there for a while, but you do sort of uh, go around on your own little boat. Where there's a little group of you, and it's all piratey themed stuff. And it is a really cool ride, and I don't know, it's just kind of cool that, like, the whole Pirates of the Caribbean franchise was uh, spawned from, like, a ride at a theme park. You know, it's normally the other way around. Like, there's Indiana Jones rides, and I'm sure there's Mickey Mouse rides, and all sorts of other stuff like that. But it's normally them based on the uh, the films, uh, but Pirates of the Caribbean is the other way around. And are you okay there, Turtle Face? What are you trying to do? Are you trying to break down that tower? I think. <laughs> oh, let's get out. Let's go put this guy out of his misery. He's obviously very confused. He has no idea what's going on, does he? <laughs> there we go. And look, there's a random lady just just standing there. And is that someone over there? Oh no, I thought that was an enemy over here. It's just a a pile of skulls on some sticks. Rather menacing place here. Can I talk to this lady? Can I do anything to her? Can I pick her up? I think she wanted another swim. There she goes. She can go join our friend from earlier, the guy with the hat. <laughs> I'm not being mean. It's just it's just amusing. And oh look, here we go. I think I can do this one. I think that's the Captain Jack Sparrow one. I think it might give me some sort of reward or something. Oh yeah, I got a new toy, a Jack Sparrow costume. Good thing I have it in spades. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, so as I said earlier, you need to buy the actual, uh, the physical toys of the other characters. And then I guess you unlock the, the virtual version of the toys. And I don't actually know what uh, other play sets are going out. I've not really looked like, like looked it up yet because uh, I've still got the uh, the whole rest of Pirates to go through. And then uh, the Incredibles one. Like, uh, I'm not really going to worry about doing any others until... Um, yeah, until like I've done through all of those ones, but uh, yeah, they should be releasing more soon. And uh, there's, uh, I'm gonna go quickly grab this uh, red orb thing over here to get myself uh, maybe something for my ship or something. Oh no, a costume, a bale, a boy's raft. When was that? And anyway, let's go speak to this lady and see what she wants. Uh, uh -oh. <laughs> my sister needs me. <laughs> Is that the woman I threw in the water? <laughs> I'd be much obliged if you brought her to me. She's over by the dock. Uh, sure. Oh, is this the one that was down here? Oh, sure. <laughs> imagine if that was the one in the water. <laughs> there, there was two of them. Uh, like, I've, imagine if I just, like, because I immediately went and threw her in the water. If that was, like, I couldn't complete the mission. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, okay. I'll be good. Like, I didn't throw them both in. Oh, I can't get up here. There's, like, a little ledge. Do you reckon I'm going to just throw her up a little bit and then go pick her up again? <laughs> I'm not doing it very daintily. I'm not being very careful. I just sort of walk up to them, pick them up, and start carrying them around. <laughs> Remember, they are just toys. They're, they're not real people. But anyway, there you go. Is this mission complete? Does this count? Do I need to literally drop her, like, directly in front of her? Look, there you go. There's your sister. Oh, good. They're reunited. They can carry on having their staring contest that they were having earlier. <laughs> Why could she not walk up the ramp? The, the missions in this game are so ridiculous. All they do is involve picking up civilians and throwing them around the place. That's all the missions are. That's, like, all I've done so far in this game. Uh, there's another question mark here. I guess it's going to tell me how to do something. Oh, it's just telling me how to, to climb a rope. I'm going to have a quick look up around this way. Like, it's massive. There's just so many places and turnings that you can go everywhere. Uh, it's telling me how to dodge again. Okay, I'm going to very quickly look up this way because if it's telling me how to dodge, that normally means that there's going to be something for me to dodge and that's probably something dangerous. So uh, maybe going at them from somewhere a little bit higher up might be a, a better idea. Anyway, let's go steal some more monies. I know what's this here. There's like a... Disney Infinity button? Let's press that. Oh, let's open that, that gate. Okay, well, let's just quickly hop down there and get some extra loot. 
Uh, before I do that, I'm gonna look around here like this. See what I mean? There's just so many different directions for me to go. It's kind of hard to know what to do first. But anyway, forget about that. Forget about getting orbs and money and stuff. Let's get to some combat. Let's take out that fella up here. And then I think I can jump up here uh, in order to go and get that orb. Oh, I didn't take that guy out yet. He's still there. Right, I should probably take him out before he hits one of those balls at me. Right, there we go. Oh no, I fell down. Right, take him out. Look, I landed right on them. How awesome was that? I did like the ground pound. I forgot about the ground pounds. <laughs> I hope I get like a, a better gun at some point. Like, it's okay, but it's just like so slow. Like, you have to shoot and then like reload every single shot. And so like you fire it once and then that's kind of it. You just got to sort of dart in there and use your sword. I don't know, it'd be good to get, I don't know, a slightly better gun. But back in those days, uh, that's kind of what the guns were like. You'd have one shot, and you'd have to reload them. They didn't have any of the uh, the fancy weapons that we get now. We're not going to come across any ray guns or anything. Saying that, this is Disney Infinity, where seemingly anything can happen. So who knows? Who knows what, what we are going to run into a little bit later on. Anyway, while we're up here, uh, I might as well go and try and get that that red orb thing. I, I need to find out what those things are called. I have no idea. <laughs> I know what they do. I just don't know what the, the official name is. I reckon if I jump from up here, then I'll be able to grab onto that ledge. Big jump. There we go. Didn't jump up here. Can I jump up again? Uh, if I just jump to the side. There we go. Sorted. I got another bit for my, my boat. I don't think that actually upgrades my boat. I can just choose exactly what it looks like. So I can choose like what the front and the middle and the back looks like. Just so I can sort of customise it. What's that? <laughs> what was that weird face I just unlocked? <laughs> awesome. I think this is all stuff for the um, the toy box mainly. But I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's something that I'm going to use uh, inside of this playset. Like I keep just unlocking like people like costumes and stuff and uh, things for my boat i think i care more about the things for my boat i need to to properly customize it and uh, come up with a with a good style but before that i need to go and take out these guys it's these ones i don't like it's the one firing the uh, the fireballs they're the the dangerous ones that i need to deal with as quick as i can but i might as well take out this guy as well easy peasy lemon squeezy oh, there's another bomb thing here though i need to find out how i how i get bombs like, can I just buy them? If I bring up the, um, if I get rid of that and bring up the, the thingy, does it let me, there we go, the toy store. Uh, can I buy bombs? I know, there, there they are, pirate bombs. Continue playing to unlock this toy. So I guess I can't get it yet. Maybe once I've unlocked it, I need to, to come back to this area and, uh, yeah, be able to use it just to get all this hidden stuff. Like, there's obviously nowhere that I need to go through there. Uh, probably just a, a whole bunch of bonus items. Using your weight, you can stand on those pads and rotate the statue pieces into their proper places. Jolly good. Right, if I stand here, is it going to spin it around? Oh, so do you reckon I need to, to make it so they all they all line up properly? Like, it's just turning the, the entire thing around, though. Surely I'll need to to turn them all separately. I oh, know it's turning all of them apart from the, um, the bottom one. Okay, let, let's go and stand on the other ones and see what they do and see if I can uh, go and try and work this out. Will I be able to jump that? Do you reckon I can swim here? Uh, let's give it a go. I don't think it's going to let me, but nope. <laughs> I guess pirates can't swim. For, like, a group of people that spend their entire time, like, on and around the water, you think that they might have had, like, had the time for a few swimming lessons or at least put some armbands on or something. Right, so, oh, this is turning all of them. Okay, this is confusing me a little bit. Let's go see if I can turn the other ones. Like, I assume that each button would turn, like, each one separately. But, like, they seem to, like, pretty much all, like, turn the, the entire thing round. So what does this one do? Okay, that one does the bottom two. And, oh, there we go. I got the I got the top two done. So if I go turn that bottom one round, I can... Well, if I turn the top two and leave the bottom one, I can line them up. And then if I stand on the one that the, um that turns the entire thing round, then hopefully I'll be able to, to line the, the whole thing up. Oh, look, I got I got the fisherman's hair there. <laughs> Jolly good. So I don't want to do that. Oh, no, I do want to do this one. So I want to do this one until all three of them are lined up. I can't see. They're all, like, the other side. I think that's right. Is that good? Um, I don't know if it is. Actually, I think I might have to go around one more, is it? Is that where it's supposed to be? That looks good. There we go. And he sold it. He's only got a bloomin' sold it. I just blown the thing up. I didn't realise what it was I was trying to do. How destructive. Oh, is that it? Do you reckon that's the, uh, the piece I need? Well done, sir. Now use the statue as a way to climb up and get the piece of car of the Kraken's Bane. Oh, that's what I'm after, wasn't it? The Bane. <laughs> Why is it with me just forgetting it? I can't remember her name. I can't remember what I'm trying to do. 
Like, I, I swear, like, I could occasionally just forget, like, my name. It's like when you've just had a birthday and someone says, how old are you? And you go, like, uh, uh, I'm, t I'm 20, I'm, I'm 50, I'm, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> like, do you ever do that? Is that just me? Like, when you've just had a birthday and you're so used to saying how old you are, and then, like, for a while you, you just look like a total idiot and you don't know your name. Is that just me? It's probably just me. I'd be quiet. <laughs> where, where do I go now, then? How do I get up to, to the top up there? Um, there's a rope going down that way. Oh, do you think I need to go through there? Somehow? Don't know. Um, oh, no, up, up here. Oh, here we go. There's a little ledge. I shall, oh, I literally climb up the statue. All right. Oh, then I guess I slide down that rope rather than go up it. All right, here we go. Going to get my, my first piece of the Kraken's Bane. And uh, there's five to get. And uh, one down already. Is this it here? It's like a little octopus. Lovely. Is that it done? Woo, 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 woo. The first piece of the bane. <laughs> well, I'm stronger already. Uh, best go talk to Tia Dal Dalma. Tia Dalma? Tia Dalma. That sounds about right. The first piece of the bane. <laughs> awesome. Uh, sadly, though, we've just about run out of time in this video. Made some pretty good progress. One bane down already. And uh, I need to get the four rest of them. And then I can control the mighty kraken. Anyway, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I want to say a big thank you to you for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in my next episode.